Howdy, Possum Patty here. And I'm gonna do a little tiny, tiny, tiny hashtag flip through Friday. <laughs> that is hosted by Christina down at the shack. And why am I saying tiny, tiny, tiny? Because we're gonna flip through some tiny fairy journals. And I wanna show you what I'm working on. So come on along. Now the three fairies, I'll, I'll bring you over there in a moment, but the three fairies, Angela Rose, Maggie Rose, and Ruthie Rose, flew across the pond from their fairy godmother's house in the UK. Her name is Julia, and I'll link her channel below down in the basement. And when they arrived, they all had their own little personalized fairy journals. Now the fairies work on these little tiny, tiny, tiny journals. Now these are fairy size. This is about the size that they love to work on. So I told them I would help them out with their, their life books. So this is like their life book, just to record some things that are going on in their life. And because they're a little bit larger and because we're using you know, these larger pictures, I said I would help them out. And together we chose some pictures to print out and some papers and some things. So that's what I'm working on. But let me show you their little tiny, tiny journals first. Well, this is the little fairy workstation. They have their own little table to work on. And if you're a new possum peep here, let me introduce... Now this is Angela Rose in the back. Angela Rose was the first fairy to arrive here at Soggy Bottom. And then she was joined by two new fairies. This is Ruthie Rose, isn't she gorgeous? And with the wild white hair, this is Maggie Rose. And they have their own little chairs over here that they're sitting in and their little table. And I can see already now that they are working on some new journals. Well, ladies, what are you working on? Now I have to interpret because even though you can see the fairies, sometimes the video does not pick up their voices. So I have to repeat what they say. They just told me they are working on Wizard of Oz glue books. And I'm like, what? I just made a Wizard of Oz glue book to put my Janet Nash prompts in. Well, they love that idea so much that they have been sitting here working on these tiny, tiny journals of their own. So I will take those over to the other camera and show you their brand new Wizard of Oz glue books. Thank you, thank you. Now over here, they have a little shelf to hold some fairy sized journals. And I showed these the other day. These are little tiny, tiny ring bound journals that they made with their initials on it. I'll bring those over too. I'll bring them all over in case you haven't seen them because there's not really not much inside those. And this was Angela Rose's first journal. And this is her Daisy Fairy Castle journal. It's very special. So I'll take all these journals over to the other camera and show okay, you. Okay, where they're yelling at me from across the room saying, don't forget the slow stitch journals. <laughs> There's some slow stitch journals down here too. So while I was doing a little cleaning and straightening up around the room, apparently they were making tiny, tiny Wizard of Oz journals. I'm going to show you in just a sec. This is the journal that I made the other day out of like uh, a sun visor, sunshade you put in your car that Mr. Possum wasn't going to use anymore because it said it didn't fit his truck. Anyway, I made it the theme of Wizard of Oz because... 
you know, would the silver look like the Tin Man? And then, you know, how he opens the little door and his heart is inside. And I used some papers. I had just a couple of sheets from a Wizard of Oz pack. And I put, there's no place like home there. And this was my mom's brooch. And I figured that would represent the heart because the Tin Man got his heart. I used this really heavy brown paper that came inside the Christmas wrapping paper. They don't have a cardboard roll. They had this heavy craft paper rolled up. But since I made the journal, I did add this sparkly green strip to cover the brads. There's two brads in here. One there, one there, and I want to get pokey fingers. I thought I'll just cover that up. And from this sheet of paper that I had left over, I cut out another hot air balloon and made a little tuck spot for the list of prompts. Because these pages are not very big, and I don't know if I'll have room to write the prompts on the pages. But this day, it was scrape paint, poppies, snow doodles, and recycle some strips. So I did Dorothy asleep in the poppies with the snow falling down and the Emerald City in the background. I'm going to put something special on that page. <laughs> and I'm going to keep my list in the hot air balloon up front here. So I made this. And I guess I inspired the fairies to make their own little Wizard of Oz journals. Now this one is ruby red, like Dorothy's slippers. And if you open it up, you can see, and it, these are so tiny, these are like fairy sized. That is Glenda the Good Witch of the North. And that is just a blank page. And another Good Witch. And they're so tiny with my eyes, with my human eyes, I can hardly see them. Oh, there's the Wicked Witch of the West. I can see her there. And there's the Ruby Slippers. Of course, the Ruby Slippers are really witch slippers, not Dorothy Slippers, are they? <laughs> they weren't hers until she killed the Wicked Witch of the East. So I asked them, where did they get these tiny, tiny, tiny Wizard of Oz papers? Now, I have the big set. I have the big set. I don't have the whole full set, but I do have a few in here. See? Full size. And somehow they magicked <laughs> some fairy-sized papers. All right, so this one, I guess, is about good witches and bad witches. So this one is, are you a good witch or are you a bad witch? <laughs> the second one is sort of a greenish gold sparkle, and it has the four friends on their way down the yellow brick road to see the Wizard of Oz, the Lion Dorothy, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow, a pattern paper, the Scarecrow, a pattern paper, lots of room to journal, the Tin Man, a pattern paper, and the Lion, and a pattern paper. And the third one is green like the Emerald City. And, oh, this one is about Dorothy. Dorothy Gale of Kansas. And a pattern paper. And Dorothy singing over the rainbow. And little Toto. The yellow brick road. Dorothy asleep in the poppies and the Emerald City and a pattern paper. So these are going to be super fun for the fairies to use as junk journals or glue books or collage books or art journals or to cosmically smash all those things together 
but aren't they wonderful? Let me move those out of the way. And these were the tiny ring bound ones they made the other day because I had made a ring bound journal. So it seems like now when I'm making a journal that they have to make new journals too. <laughs> and this is Angela Rose. It has her initial on it. And no, I don't believe they put anything in here because they just decided that they would make some journals <laughs> before they get to gluing things inside. R for Ruthie Rose. They're all about the same. They just have different initials on the front. So those are tiny, tiny journals, ring-bound journals. Angela Rose arrived here first. And so she was making a Daisy Fairy Castle journal. And the front door does open. And there's her picture on the inside. Now, the other ones don't have this because, like I said, Angela made this one before they arrived. It has a unicorn and some beautiful collaging on the inside. And I guess that's as far as she's gotten. No, there's a couple other pages in here. She loves her flowers and nature. There's a couple pages in here she can finish up. Animal friends all. That's sweet. So that's her daisy. See the little daisies in there? Fairy castle that she works on. But now that the other fairies are here, maybe they'll help her finish this up. Well, just for reference, this is a people-sized ring-bound journal. And basically, you just have a cover front and back. You punch three holes. You get some paper. Put it together with a ring, the kind you get in a stationery shop. And now you have a journal. Easiest journal to make. Well, one of the easiest journals to make right there. Ring-bound journal. And now slow stitch. Well, what is a slow stitch journal? Well, this is my slow stitch journal. And I call it the just because. You make it just because. There's absolutely no reason to do this whatsoever. <laughs> and in it, you can do anything. Any kind of stitching, applique, sew in scraps. I made a little birdhouse here. This page just has some stitching on it because the peacock feathers were already there. Made a little ladybug on that page. This page just has some stitching because it's a tree design. These fabric goodies were sent to me from friends, so I added them in. This is from Denise. And this is the mushroom I made. So that's going to get sewn in. This is from Angie. This material was gifted to me. That's from Janet. I made a little tree in there with a bird at the top. It's a little interactive there. This pin belonged to my mom, so I put mom there. This fabric was gifted to me, and so were these shells from Leanne. Gave me that fabric. So every page is completely different. There's no theme. Every page can be whatever you want it to be. This material was also gifted to me. And as you can see, they're just stitches any which way you want to go. I love to outline an object and put some French knots in there. I added some ribbon. Cardinals was my theme for Christmas, so I put this in there. This is a page I'm going to work on. I painted this tree with some paint. And this is the last page that I did. And I, I got these little bunnies. I didn't haul these yet, but I'll show these later on at the Dollar Tree. And I put a little snap. And I gave it a nice pretty little blue background because blue's my color of the year. And I added a snap. And I snapped the bunny right on there. And I can add more things to that page if I want to. So that is a slow stitch journal, and Angela made this beautiful journal. It's very boho looking, isn't it? But I don't think 
they've gotten to do any sewing yet. No. But I'm sure they'll be working on these. And then I will share that with you. So Angela made this one. Now these two tiny ones I think were made by Pixie and uh, Little Lulu Ladybug over there. And they haven't done anything either. But these are tiny, 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 aren't they? But they are adorable. Look at that. So I'll have to get these ladies to uh, get a little sewing circle going. See, I've been sewing in the car when we're traveling around. But I bet if I sat here and did some sewing, they would join in too. <laughs> so maybe that's what I have to do to get that going. Okay, now to the mess on the desk. So where's Angela's? Okay, so this, this came first. And like I said, the journal came with the fairy with a picture and then a place to put the name. I put Angela Rose arrives at Soggy Bottom 62123. And all these little, you know, ephemera bits and decorations were already in the journal. Now I've added a picture of Angela Rose doing her laundry out in the snow. There's her little wash tub and wringer and her little line there with her tiny clothespins putting out the wash. Oh, and on this card is Angela doing snow fairies out in the snow. They look like snow angels, but Angela Rose told me that they're called snow fairies. I did the journaling on the back. Snow fairies. I said, okay, I'll let everyone know they are snow fairies. And we have some more pictures here, but the little journaling cards came. Isn't this amazing? And then there's one back there. So we're going to fill this up with pictures of Angela and things that she's working on. And then the story of the other two fairies, they came October 12th. Now, there was this huge storm out in the Atlantic and it blew three fairies right past my house over to my sister's house. <laughs> so we went over for a sister's sleepover and the fairies were having a sleepover too. They were exhausted and they just popped into bed right there. You can see them. Now, this is Ruthie Rose and this is Maggie Rose and the one in the middle is Ella Margaret. Ruthie Rose and Maggie Rose they came home with me to Soggy Bottom. And Ella Margaret, she lives with my sister. Well, look at this fun pillowcase and comforter with the mushroom design. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Well, my sister gave me the bag that those sheets came in. And I'm cutting it up and making a little pocket here. And I'm gonna glue the pocket into Ruthie Rose book. So this is Ruthie Rose book. Julia put these wonderful images on these. Look at these, they're like old fairy tale images. Oh, the princess and the frog. I think that's what that is right there, right? Princess and the frog. And there's Ruthie Rose. And I put a rose here with her name. And there's tags in here that have to be journaled on. Mushrooms on this page. Beautiful little fairy flower images and some music down here. And more journaling cards there. And look at the back. Silver bells. It says everything for the garden. Silver bells. Beautiful little fairy tale images. Love them. Some flowers. This one has a lace tie. So I'm going to put the mushroom pocket here because doesn't that fit perfect on this page with the mushrooms, right? And I'm going to glue that in there. 
And then I'm going to make a journaling card and put the sleepover picture in her journal. And I might then put the picture of when they arrived here and met Angela Rose. I might put that in this journal too. So that's going to go in here too. So I'm going to work on that. And this is Maggie Rose's. Maggie Rose. Beautiful. Look at the cover. I love these images. Oh, these are fairies and they're having a tea party. Oh, I love that. A tea party. Maggie Rose. Little boot there with a little wing on it. And there's lots of spaces to journal. Look at that. Little fairies. Ah. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Journaling cards. And got the little flower fairies up here. Beautiful images. I don't know where she gets them, but they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. This one's got a journaling card. Look at that. Even on the back. Stitch in time. Look at the little mice. The store looks like a cheese wedge. Flowers back here. So in hers, Maggie Rose. Now Maggie Rose has a dragon. And her dragon's name is Biscuit. So we're going to put a picture of her dragon in here and a picture of her when she arrived here at Soggy Bottom. That's going to go in this one. So I have to work on that. What else I got here? Oh, I got the Wicked Witch of the West. That goes in the other journal. <laughs> oh, and this is a picture I did in my Magic Mushroom House journal. So when Angela Rose arrived, I gave her a page in this fairy house journal. This is just an old magazine. I made it into a prompt book. And here's Maggie's page with her dragon on the roof of her house. Maggie's in the doorway there. <laughs> This, I'll go in this one. I'm trying to get organized here. So hard for me to get organized sometimes. All right, so that goes in there. That is hers. And so I think that's it. Oh, so, and I've got this frosted rose picture that I took. And somebody wanted, oh, Ruthie Rose wanted the pink. Well, the red roses, but they're Got the white frost on them. She wanted that picture in hers. So I think that's all the pictures, but they do have little tiny postcards that came to them from the Doki Doki Forest. And they came from Evelyn Rose, which is their cousin who lives up in the Doki Doki Forest. So Maggie got one, Angela got one, and Ruthie Rose got one. And they're all hand-painted by Evelyn Rose in the Doki Doki Forest. And they live, and Evelyn lives with Amy. And I'll link Amy's channel below, too. But they got their very own mail. Look at that. <laughs> These are so precious. So everybody has to get their postcard put into their journal. So that is what I'm working on. And those are the tiny, tiny journals. I think I got all of them covered, right? I think so. Okay. Well, thank you for allowing me to share this with you. And I'll probably finish these journals up for tomorrow. And then at Wicked Witch of the West, she's floating around. Because she is on the scavenger hunt. Now this journal is the Junk Journal January prompts going from front to back and the Glue Book January prompts going from back to front. And yes, the Wicked Witch of the West is here. She's on my prompt list, so 
that's why she's floating around. She'll get put in here. So I gotta get this done. I'm leaving my crumbs on the table for tomorrow. And the other thing that is on the table right now, I know I try to get organized, but <laughs> you know, sometimes hopeless case. Okay. I have a whole bunch of happy mail that came during the holiday that I want to put into journals. And this is from Amy, the Doki Doki Forest. And in here was a picture of a possum. Here it is. And this is going to go into my awesome possum journal. I have some more things to put in there too. This is my awesome possum journal. All things possum in here, <laughs> including my possum dress. So I will be putting that picture of a possum in here. <laughs> All things possum in here. Still have plenty of pages to journal on. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. All right, so plenty of room in here. So I'm going to put some more possum things in here. And that is it. Probably these will be my crumbs for tomorrow. And I just want to wish everybody happy junk journaling. Bye-bye now. Thank you.